issues, doesn't everyone? It's been a crazy week, too. First, I had to reschedule the adoption of my daughter, again, and they were pissed about that, let me tell you. And then at work, they shit canned over half the people there. I wasn't one of the ones fired, so of course I'm relieved. I mean, it's, I feel a little guilty, though, because it's not like I wasn't doing anything that was wrong. I just wasn't really caught doing what I was doing wrong. And what do you think about guilt in general? Is it ever justified? Is it ever just even a worthwhile emotion? I mean, should I feel guilty about the flame that I had with Gerald in the county? He was one of the ones can, so I don't have to see him anymore, and his wife was leaving him anyways. And then when I called my mom, my 65th, you know, 75th. Yeah, lady, uh, your radiator's all flushed and filled. Thanks for coming in, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> are just too damn long. Short attention span. Masterpiece Theatre proudly presents Romeo and Juliet. Romeo! Juliet! Tybalt! Romeo! Mercutio! Mercutio! Well, when you have better things to do with your life, 
Short attention span, Last Piece Theatre proudly presents the more we do. Fellow Baggins, this is the One Ring, the one to rule them all. Should you take this responsibility, you bear this ring and destroy it in the fires of Mount Doom from whence it has been forged. Your life, as you know it, be in tatters. What saith you? So, Gandalf, what do you think this spring on eBay? Oh! <laughs> 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 well, hello again, Mr. Oranges. Ah, good to see you, Mr. Apples. So, what do you make of these homosexuals, Mr. Oranges? Do you enjoy their carefully flamboyant ways as much as I do? Certainly not, Mr. Apples. Their degenerate lifestyle disgusts me to the core. Good book says Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. I had no idea you were so narrow-minded, Mr. Oranges. Oh, now don't get me wrong, Mr. Apples. I enjoy butt sex just as much as the next fellow. <laughs> I'll go parade around town about it. Well, I'm glad we can agree on something, you filthy sodomite. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Gitmo, Abdul! <laughs> Comfrey? Good, because this shouldn't take very long. Get ready to take down whatever he spills, boys. Now, Abdul, I have one question and one question only for you. What's the difference between hummus and babagadoosh? <laughs> For even the movie is too damn long. Short attention span, Masterpiece Theatre proudly presents Gone with the Wind. Yes. Oh, look! Atlanta's burning! Well, fiddle-dee-dee, if it's burning today, surely it will be burning tomorrow, because tomorrow is another day. Or, Rhett, can't you help? Frankly, my dear, I wish you'd just post a MySpace bulletin. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here. Is it Monday? Or Tuesday? Or Friday? Does anybody even know I'm gone? I can't take it anymore. Can't. Can't. Please, God. Please hear my prayer. It's been so long and I'm so alone. I'm sorry for whatever I've done that's put me in here and I, I promise I won't do it again. But please, Lord, please send help. Mr. Jones? It'll just be another couple minutes. Dr. Franklin's running a little bit behind today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good to see you again, Mr. Apples. Salutations to you too, Mr. Oranges. Say, Mr. Apples, do you think that the Jews and the Moslems will ever sort out their historic hullabaloo? Or is today's Mideast population bound to propagate the same irreconcilable differences that have made the region for millennia? Can man ever put aside his differences of faith and move past dogma into a world of mutual understanding and respect? 